Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna quickly go through how to handle Excel dates in R. So this has been one of my big frustrations. It took me a while to figure this out, um, but we're gonna do this with no fancy extra packages to install. So let's just quickly look at the problem. Um, you go online and you download data from say like Yahoo Finance, Google Finance. Uh, you download data from somewhere and it's in some CSV file or an Excel file, right? Um, and it's gonna be in, of course, this nice, format here that we use in America, where it's gonna have the month, the date, and the year, and I wanna import this into R. So what we would typically do, let me just import this file real quick. So you have some code like this, like we're gonna read a CSV file in, we have this location, um, and you have the file, and if you run that, uh, over here you'll see that we have the file itself. You can see that the dates come in exactly as we expect. Okay, so the problem here is when you go to plot, which I'll just show you here. So we plot out um, y, which is going to be equal to, let's just say BAC, which is Bank of America here. And that's gonna be part of the portfolio, BAC. And then you have x is going to be equal to, and then we do date. So portfolio, date. Okay, so it looks wonky. Like this is a terrible graph, right? Um, you see there's like scattery dots everywhere. It's kind of like series, but it makes no sense. And even if you look on the bottom, the dates look correct. Like it says January, 2017. But then as you get going here, right, you're gonna see like 2018, 2019, then back to 2016, like this isn't working. Okay, so what we typically try to do is we would call a variable like portfolio and we'll call it date two. And then what we would typically do is we would say, okay, as date, and then you'd put in, you know, port date, and then you'd hit enter, and then what happens is it doesn't work here, so it causes issues, okay? The simple formula for this, though, is you go back up in here, and yes, I've been doing this wrong all along and been trying to find solutions and handle dates. It's a nightmare, but you just put in a comma after it, and then you just need to tell it exactly the format. And there's a little bit of a trick here. So it's percentage, lowercase m for month, forward slash, percentage, lowercase d for day, forward slash, percentage, and then a capital Y. You need the capital Y to handle these Excel dates. You hit enter. And now you see that we have no errors down here. So it means it worked. This is actually a date now. Um, and then we're just going to do the same thing above. So if we copy... The plot code but this time we do date two which is the new one we just created and you plot it and there you go you can handle excel dates inside of r simply quickly easy without actually having to install all these other packages and all this mess so anyways thanks for watching if you found that helpful don't forget to subscribe below for more videos like this give me a thumbs up it's a big help and as always until next time